charcoal is a complete waste of my time. So messy. Xiaomi Wu was how I first learned about uh, fine charcoal, willow charcoal from Xiaomi Wu. And I bought a book and he, that was in China, you can get it in America. And I was living in China and it described what the materials he was using and uh, what areas he was using them in. If you look at this guy on the right, that's a vine charcoal kind of lay in. It's a big, thick hunk of, of charcoal. It's like, um, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's like a, a barrel that could be like a quarter of an inch round and it's, and it's long. So it's thick, like a big, big piece of chalk, right? So you've got like maybe a half an inch, quarter inch, eighth inch, and really thin sticks of this vine charcoal. And the thicker one, you can use it like a paintbrush. And so he's really blocking in very chunky, you might say, with this. And you can erase this with your finger. You can just come through with your thumb as like a cheap eraser, right? And brush it off to reveal the white of the paper. And so those can be your half tones and your highlights. You can have a lot of fun. Uh, this one's a little hard to see, but the hair, the beard, all that stuff is blocked in with divine charcoal. And then you can come in in these light areas where he has a compressed charcoal pencil and cross hatching you know cross hatching like that out of the darks into the lights and to explain plane changes form right you can see that in here you can see it here where he's hatching he's hatching in here so he's supplementing some of these bigger initial strokes with refined you know hatching right where there's the forehead here and the eye eye socket eyebrow right that's dark but on the forehead you can see he's kind of moving around with hatching to describe the form in a more refined way right in those areas like the cheek where you need you know the nose where you need a little bit more control so if he makes you know if you make a nose And you have your nostril here. Um, you know, plane changes, highlights. And to describe things. Right, if I needed to get darker, I double up, right? I double up on my cross hatching, triple up on it until eventually it's dark, right? Each time I'm changing my angle just a little bit. And I can just I can do that subtly or I can do it in a uh, you know, a very heavy handed way. Not heavy handed, but here very, very dramatic, let's say. I'm going to turn down my focus. Okay. And I can just build up those tones, you know. And you can experiment with, you know, how you how you move around this form. You know, you can go across and over the form, following the form. Just building up around that highlight. It's really fun and it's very sculptural as well with those straight lines you can you can make something look round and organic or it, you can have it appear to be very planar you know and geometric and so that that willow charcoal the vine charcoal is responsible for the you know the beauteousness of this okay um, let's look at another one. This lady, you can see it a little bit better, um, where all of this hair 
is uh, vine charcoal or willow. See, willow charcoal is is a little bit harder. So they're compressed sticks of, um, let's say, willow tree or vines of um, grapevine -y kind of stuff. And they put it, they heat it, and they pull all the oxygen out of it. And they heat it, put it through an oxidation process. And when it comes out, it's just this completely charred black branch, right? So willow is a little bit harder of a grain of this charred branch and vine is softer. So this could be either one, it's probably vine because vine's a little bit softer. And you can have those big bold brush strokes in the hair and in the background, and you can erase it and put it back and erase it. And you can come through with any, you know, a literal eraser and create strands of hair. Um, you know, you can pull through, like right here, he pulled through the dark, like that, like that one strand pulling through, he just erased it out, right? With a, you know, eraser shaped by an exacto. So you can take this rubber eraser and cut off the edges with an exacto blade. So they're razor sharp and then just pull through areas, you know, using the side. Uh, and then you can use a kneaded rubber eraser too for, for less drastic modifications, more subtle modifications. And then he's coming from the darks into the lights with the compressed charcoal, right? So in here, right? Where you need that control because the, the big hunks of vine charcoal and willow charcoal, they're, they're dirty and they're good for big, big, bold moves, but for the subtle stuff, uh, you, you're going to lose control and it's, it's what makes charcoal so hard. If you don't know that and you have one grade of charcoal that you get in a package, just doing beautiful transitions and gradations from dark to light, you're not going to know how to do it because it doesn't sharpen that well. And you're just going to smudge and it's just instantly out of control. So it's a combination of this, um, you know, this sharpened pencil that's compressed charcoal, probably an H or HB and the vine and willow charcoal that you can go, you know, completely dark in here and just get the beautiful core shadow, reflected light, cast shadow, stuff like that. Uh, we'll look at one more. Um, this one here. And we were talking about, so everything here is vine charcoal. For maybe again coming into the half tones it's just going to be you know if we go up on right this this stuff here where he crossed hatched right and came out of the dark into the light and subtly described those forms okay you can see exactly um where he pulled through with his thumb, right here, here, thumb, forefinger, or maybe, maybe a tool of some kind, but you can just see these areas where, where he pulled through, where he touched it with his finger, right? And then came back through with a kneaded rubber eraser or um, a rubber eraser cut with, with an X-Acto blade and, and just pulled through little highlights, right? Little ridges and things here. So that's, that's a stroke from willow or vine charcoal, but this is pulled through with an eraser, right? And so you can just get every subtle tone, every expression, every chiseled edge, every soft edge with charcoal. That's why I love charcoal so much. And then I was talking about over in, in the previous person's drawing about directing the viewer's eye using kind of organizing your values and so that making this thing a living breathing almost piece that is not sequential art it's not animated it's not a storyboard but nevertheless you can kind of because the eye will jump around it doesn't take it all in at once it it jumps around it goes here and and here and here and then goes over there and then it moves around and it keeps doing that so there's time in between each jump right and so we can take advantage of that by 
beefing up our contrast in certain areas and our edges. So our value contrast and edge contrast to get people to basically, you know, look here first and then come down and down like that, right? You know, look at those eyes, then the next area of contrast, next area. And it starts to lose contrast here. And then it loses contrast here. So it's it's less interesting, right? And then it loses contrast here. There's still some, but so the eye is kind of traveling around, you know, traveling around and then coming back to that area. So you might say that there's levels of revelation here, and it could be like a one, two, three, you know, then I look at here, this is cool, so I go to four. And then I just kind of see everything else, you know, and then I might see, you know, five, and then I'll notice this beautiful stuff here and and this thing. Later, my you know, minutes into the piece, I'll, I'll notice that, whoa, that's like a landscape, you know. Oh, that's just so, I love that lost edge, it's like fog. In, on a mountainside, you know, and um, so you're creating all these goodies, you know, you're giving them the main course, and then the goodies come later, and it's it's excellent. So that's was more than just about uh, vine charcoal, but I think it's worth it to say not what vine charcoal is, but what it does and how it how, exactly how it looks.